How to be a successful insurance sales agent without being annoying. Well, <clears throat> it's going to take a few uh, things, skills, mindsets, and uh, to be honest with you, it's going to take some, some, some good software. Uh, but above all, it's going to take some leads and some persistence. Now, there's one way you can get around the persistence and not being be emotionally attached to being persistent and feel like you are being annoying. Uh, but the, at the end of the day, it's gonna you're gonna face with three big challenges, four big challenges, if you will. But getting qualified leads, getting in contact with those leads, and facing the fact that you have a limited amount of time each day, each workday. Um, and, and that's not anything that you can change, but you can change the ability to uh, close um, and develop sales skills and lead people into the policies that, that you're, uh, you're offering and wanting to sell. With that being said, um, I'm not going to talk about some closing skills. I may have a, t a tip or two in, 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 in leading folks along to get the policy without being salesy if you will because if you're being salesy if you're being needy that's that's a repelling characteristic you want to to to, to be oh come on man it's, i'm begging people for their business it's it's just uh naturally repulsive and i mean that in the fact that it's built into our reptilian brain based on the caveman days if someone was being needy um, it, it, it didn't lend itself to uh, someone that was bringing bringing value, if you will, to to the to the caveman area days, whatever you want to talk, uh, call it. That being said, I'm going to talk about a couple things here that you could put into place uh, in getting qualified leads. Now, now listen, it, 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 <laughs> You got to be the terminator, and you can put into uh, some uh, some situations where you don't have to be the terminator. You can just put in some software automations to take care of it. And one of the things you can do is go to and get um, the virtual com AI software ai.virtualcom.com, LLC.com, and put it in, and have some pre-built automations where whatever lead vendor you use, whether it's EverQuote. Quote Wizard, Smart Financial, you use a lead broker, it doesn't really matter. But whenever you do, you load the leads into a um, uh, into this software via Make or Z Zapier or whatever, and it automatically creates an opportunity so that uh, you can take it and move it along the, the pipeline. And whenever the, it does that, it creates an automation so that you don't have to be relentless the system will be relentless. And what I mean by that is you can fire this in here and have the system, this software, take and do a voicemail recording. And so, it's, and what it's going to do is going to save you a lot of time. So that constraint is going to prohibit you uh, from doing X number of business. But if you can eliminate the amount of time that you it, it takes you to leave a voicemail for every single person that you call, do it one time, load it into the software, make that recording and have that recording directly go to a, a prospect's voicemail. Say, hey, this is David Bridge from Farmers Insurance. I've got a quote for you or I got some discounts for you that you missed on the quote that you were working on online. Give me a buzz and we'll talk about it. <clears throat> and then what that will do is it'll prime your prospect for the oncoming uh, engagements and things that the software is going to do, number one being another email, and then also a text message. Now listen, if you're not using text messaging in your business, I would encourage you to do it, but not to do it with your cell phone, not to do it with your personal cell phone. It's cumbersome. You can't do a lot. Uh, if at the very least you get, if you don't use this software, sign up for a Google Voice uh, number and use that for texting. Um, because you can type a lot faster on your keyboard than you can on your phone, and it gives you a lot more <clears throat> ability to engage with folks and co copy and paste and send the information that that uh, that you need via copy and paste and quote from stuff from quotes over to the text. But that being said, once you've primed them with a voicemail drop and then sending them a text and waiting for the system to to reply 
And if they don't, that just keeps on peppering them without being annoying, without you feeling like you're being annoying. Because at the end of the day, it's going to take a lot of times seven to 10 contacts and people won't be upset if they're interested. They'll be glad that you kept in touch with them and kept trying to get in, in, in contact with them because people are busy. They may just not have the time whenever you're trying to engage and but th that doesn't mean they're not interested but it can get in your head it can get you can start to feel like oh this person's not interested oh they're not calling me calling me back you know that's that's baloney that's your own uh, in, in, in inhibitions and in, 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 in self uh, image that's holding you down where if you put this software and these automations in place through ai.virtualcomllc.com and, don't, and then you don't have to worry about so that when people do engage and they do have a conversation, the system then will take them out of this initial uh, automation and put it into one that's an AI generated one. Where if you, if you don't know anything about chat GPT, a lot of what you're going to get out of chat GPT is based on the prompts that you give it. So you give it a persona. You say, hey, listen, I'm an insurance agent. I want to get in touch with people. I've got a, some, several questions that I need to answer get answers to in order to provide an accurate quote. These are the questions. And whenever you formulate them and put them into uh, uh, this software, ChatGBT will then generate the questions within the software and, and engage with people to get the answers. And what, what it does is it keeps you hands off. You can watch it, but you don't have to wait b with bated breath on every each and every single reply. And as you do go in and watch the conversations unfold, you can say, okay, well, this person's interested. This person is giving me a lot of information. If they're giving you a lot of information, guess what? They're interested. And it keeps you uh, from having to waste time with people that aren't interested. So if they've hit the, 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 the prompt that says, hey, if you're not interested, or you'd like to unsub unsubscribe, just click, you know, type buy, and it takes them out of the workflow. And at the same time, it'll tell you, Hey, you've already found insurance. Okay, well, that may not mean that they're not interested, but you can still, you know, carry on the conversation. <sighs> Whatever, but it, it 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 primes the pump for you to get you in front of the exact qualified contacts. And one of the other questions that you can ask to figure out whether or not and where you stand is: Have you had any claims? Have you had any violations? Uh, what kind of a risk are they? So then you can. To determine, all right, do I need to put them on this platform or this platform? And it just saves you a lot of time. So in order to be a successful insurance agent, you got to collapse time and only deal with people that are interested and focus your time on the things that matter, which is writing business. Now, if you do get uh, service calls, which you will, you can also put into a place another instrument within the software called a missed call text back, where it's going to get the information that you need without having to be hands on. Because I'll tell you, listen, whenever you're on the phone, not that I'm opposed to being on the phone, but people love, if you're getting people that love to talk on the phone, you're gonna have a hard time getting off the phone, which there again, it limits the amount of business that you can write. You got to be able to not, you got to build rapport, you got to have good relationships. I, you know, I get it. I'm about it. But at the end of the day, you, in order to write and be successful, and especially in the beginning, you got to get that puppy rolling and you got to get the business going. And so in order to do that, you can put in automations that are artificially and in, artificial intelligence based, which are giving you quality information and putting you in front of quality prospects and giving you the ability to to remove the things that just don't matter which uh, at the end like I said at the end of the day is writing business so if you'd like to get a copy of the of the software free trial go to ai.virtualcomllc.com get yourself a free trial we'll load the, the pre-built uh, some uh, automations in there for you. Now, listen, this is a white label version of, of high level. I'll also include the, the, my f affiliate link for that. If you'd like to just go and build them that you're, yourself, but if you take advantage of this offer, you get a free trial and we'll load this, the, the, the already, the, 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 the we call them the snapshots. You get the snapshots loaded into the software and you can take advantage and get it up and running without having to build them yourself. So I'm David Bridge Jr. Hope this helps. Uh, leave a co question or comment below and we'll gladly uh, answer those. And um, till the next time, till the next video. Thanks.